Hello! There are a few people who are early. Welcome! Are you ready for some craft roll arts and crafts today? I'm going to make the music a little softer. Is that better? Hi! Hi, Megan! Good morning! Hello! Hi, Alice! Welcome! We'll wait for everybody to come and then we will start. Do you guys, for those who are early, do you guys have your toilet paper ready? Oh, Rachel! Hello! Good morning, Megan! So, I was able to collect all uh, by myself six okay how about you how many do you have can you uh, type it in because if you only have one then what can we do hi Janet hello Allison and Holly oh you're very welcome Cheryl okay so bring out your toilet paper rolls okay Thank you also for uh, for joining. Thank you, Manila for Kids. I'm from the Little Apprentice Preschool. And um, I'd like to first invite you. Who's that? Liesl, good morning. Shine, good morning, Athena. You have the long white one. Oh, okay. So Megan says she has the long white paper roll. I think that one you can cut into two or three. Good morning, Teacher Rosan from Reese and Ia. Hello, Bobby Maricel. Okay, so hi, Keisha. Oh, <laughs> somebody has five paper rolls like me, and that's Reese and Ia. Thank you. Hi, Kirsten. So I'm reading as I'm uh, waiting for everybody to show up. So far, we've got 40. Woohoo! And hello to. Rizu or Ritu. Hello to EJ. Good morning. Good morning from oh Lucas. Hello. Welcome. Let's see. Hello, Martha. It's okay, Megan, if you only have one. We will make do. Hello, Maan and Amber Louise. And hello, Janine. Hello, Cassie. Who else? Somebody's got two paper rolls, and that's fine. We can do a lot with two, okay? It's just that I have five just in case I make a mistake. So it's okay if you make mistakes, right? Good mo Oh, yes. Good morning also, Kirsten. Hello, hello. So, um, I'll be starting at around a few more minutes because I see we're, 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 the numbers are still rising. But I really thank you for coming on time. So who's that? Hi, Michelle. And Nash and Rain. Hello from Derek, Larson, Diane. And hello to Brielle and Eunice. Good morning from Cebu. Ooh, Yuri. Hello from Cebu. Hi, Heaven. Yes, I would rather that we use the toilet paper rolls. Okay, for your little hands, I've got three from Janine. Good. And I've got four paper rolls from Cassie. Good job. 
So just in case we don't finish all of these today, you can practice at home, right? And the more paper rolls you have, the more stuff you can do with them for sure. Hello from Tris. Hello to Kai. Hello from Zoe and Mommy Anna Sabrina. Hello, hello. Okay. So later when, when we start, if you have questions or if I'm going fast, please let me know so that I can slow down and or answer your questions, okay? Hello to Venice, who is eight years old. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I've got two paper rolls, Keisha says, and that's fine. We will work with two. I actually have six. I started with one already. I was so excited. I practiced. So hello from Maddie and from Angel. Okay, guys, please share this live uh, broadcast with your friends, okay? Because the more the merrier. <laughs> and uh, the more the merrier is the correct term. Okay, let's see. Who has three paper rolls? That's Kirsten. And Maddie, hello. I think Maddie is in another country because she says good afternoon that's fine hello everybody okay so we are going to oopsies one fell i'll pick it up later now my name is teacher rosana raneta i'm from the little apprentice preschool uh i'll say hi to kate oh i'm saying hi now hi kate um and thank you to Manila for Kids for her letting me host today's or this morning's craft activity session for all of you. I would like to invite you to the Little Apprentices preschool, uh, preschool online um, weekly batches of summer activities. So you can just go to thelittleapprentice.com and enroll okay so this happens every week so very easy short commitment and really fun activities are happening you'll find me there um i actually have a puppet her name is starletta so she says stories for all of you also i teach because i'm licensed for it for them i teach zumba kids and i teach nirvana fitness so those who enroll are going to see me sharing um, choreographies and lots of movement activities with the kids. So let's see. Hello, who's that? Maan. Hello, Sherry Lane. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Janine, what a beautiful name. Yes, that's so true. Okay, okay, let's begin. Let's see. You guys, do you have your toilet paper rolls? Okay, you have to have them on hand. We're talking about the materials now. Ready? Now, next. Do you have all your paper, even scratch or scrap paper? I found long bond. That's the white stuff. Hi, Nathan. Good morning. Okay, so a white bond paper. I'll move it here. I've got construction paper. So some pieces have been cut off already, but that's fine because we'll just probably need small sheets of these. Because I'm a teacher, I found these upstairs. Sorry, sorry. Ahead of time, I found felt cloth. Okay, hi to Zivon and hi to Maddie. Hi to Ella and to RR. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so if you have felt paper, great. If not, we'll just work with colored paper or all the scrap paper you have. Like if you have um, old flyers or if mom has old flyers, um, old magazines that are colorful, you can cut those pieces up. Okay, what else do I have? Wait, hold on. So I have got the stiffer types of um, felt paper. And of course, I've got the glittery stuff. Stop. Look, 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 look. Aren't they happy? Shiny, shimmering, woohoo! <laughs> Sorry if I'm making people jealous and I have glittery paper and, and some of you could not uh, run to the store and get some. But that's okay. It's just because I do, so I figured I'd bring it to the session today. Okay? Hi, Vivian! Art paper can work. Yes, Ritu. Art paper can work. 
even scrap paper. Hello, Lauren. So, fabric scraps. Yes, please bring them on. Um, let's see. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Teacher Rosie Pasqual. Hello. Thanks for joining. Um, who else? Hi, Bryce. Welcome. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, do we have? We've got markers, of course. Do you have markers? You know me, teacher. We collect stuff. So I've got lots of markers. But if you don't have all these colors, I think if you've got a black one and maybe even a black pen, I think we can work with them. Okay? Let's see. Haha. <laughs> Hi, Stella. Hi, Mia. Oh, yes, of course, Amber Louise. Glitter is life. <laughs> She's saying, I love glitter. I've got glue. You have glue? Some people, um, if they have glue guns, only daddies and mommies and yayas can work with glue guns because the glue guns are hot. Okay? And I've got two kinds of scissors. Oh, yes, you can use a Sharpie. Of course, of course. The brand doesn't matter as long as the color is black or the colors are rainbow oh that was loud okay who else of course i'm funny i'm a teacher it's Im important uh, who said that uh, that uh, that was maggie hi hugo hi pablo welcome all right so i've got two scissors here i'm showing you because i want to show you that there's a mommy and a daddy scissor scissors okay that's the one that doesn't have the Help me, yellow uh, plastic, this one, okay? And when you cut, please remember this. You will put your scissors against the table like this. Can you see my hand? Look down, okay? And when you have paper, the other hand is the one that turns. This hand stays still on the tabletop like this, and it opens and closes. The other hand turns the paper around. That way, this hand doesn't go, uh, 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 and you don't uh, <laughs> cut yourself. We don't want any accidents, right? Art is supposed to be fun. Hi, Josea. Hi. Let's see. Um, yes, you may use art paper, Yuri. No problem. Hi, Elma. So we've talked about the daddy mommy scissors because they're, they're sharp. Okay, only the mommies and daddies should use these. And you know already how to cut. You cut from the tabletop with one hand while the other hand is holding the paper. Now, I have the scissors for kids. It has the help me plastic, this one. You know why? Because it doesn't close. When I close it, it pops open. That's to help your little fingers and your muscles to cut. So once you squeeze, the scissors will open by itself. All right, and that way you can continue cutting without tiring your muscles in the hands. Sophie and Tori, hello, good morning. Okay, so the glue gun, huh? I see Maddie saying she uses it. I hope Maddie, you're the mommy. <laughs> All right, let's see what else, what else? Hi, Nash and Rain. Hi, Rafa. Ooh, Rafa from The Little Apprentice. Hello, welcome. So we've mentioned the paper, the cloth, the markers, the scissors, the glue, the pens, and the paper rolls. You know what else is needed? A smile. Are you smiling? Because smiles make everything better. I promise. <sighs> I just mentioned all the materials and I'm tired. How are you feeling? Who has three paper rolls? Needy, that's fine. Okay, so I use mommy scissors, says Maddie. Maddie, just please be careful. Okay, okay. Oh, and Maddie is nine. She's typing away. Alrighty. Hi, Andrea. Hey, hi, Aisha. Let us begin. Can you please tell me if you're a boy or if you're a girl? Why? Because the, the, the um, people answering are answering so fast i just see names but i don't know if they're boys or girls why why am i asking because 
I think we're going to start off with a girl project. Is that okay with you? Oh, girl. Oh, thank you, Miss Elma. <laughs> okay, so I see girls. You know what? I started off with a... I don't know who knows what this is. Who can tell me? I think the, the bangs of this is too long. I'm going to cut a bit. You cut paper lang ha, you don't cut your own hair. Promise? Can I can I see you writing promise? No cutting of your own hair. Mm, okay, only paper. So we'll cut. Because we can't see the What's this? The beautiful face of our unicorn. Wait a minute. Almost done. Oh, I made a mess, but that's fine. We will pack away later. Okay, looky! Oh, ha, ha. So, like Nathan, you're a boy, I can tell. So what we're going to do later is we're going to do a boy craft. Okay, that's why I prepared toilet paper rolls and one fell down. It's under the table. I'll pick it up later. So who can count? Wait a minute. For the ones who go to the little apprentice preschool where I teach, um... They are six years old and below. So who can count? How many? One. Two. Three. And four. But wait! There's more. One fell under the table. Let me go get it very quickly. Five. We've got five toilet paper rolls. I'll put these aside. Okay? Okay, so if you want to do the unicorn, okay, somebody has promised that they're not going to cut their hair. Good job. Okay, so Megan is five. So can we do a unicorn first? Can we? Can we? Say yes if you want. Look, oh, it even has a glittery unicorn. What does uni mean? Sometimes it means universal or all sometimes it means one so there's one horn on this one see and i got well i'll, I'll call it a bushy tail okay it's got a colorful rainbow like tail i used all the colors i have it's got the same uh, tuft of hair on the top of its head it's got tiny ears how many ears how many ears? Gosh, two. And then what else? It's got two little blushing cheeks. Okay. Um, I just cut as small as I could. Two pink stuff. It's not even a circle. Right? Eh, it's not even an oblong. Okay. And then I wrote down the eyelashes here on top. So are we ready? If you're ready, say, yes, we are. Or if you're alone in the house, you say, yes, I am. Are you ready? Can I see? Can you say it in your, um, what's this? In your, in your replies? Oh, thank you, Keisha. I like it too. Okay. Ritu says, yes, ready. Jean says, ready, yes. Megan says, yes, ready. Who else ready? Megan. Oh, there are two Megans. Yes, ready also. Yes, we are, says, I'm assuming, Daddy Brian and kids. Yes, we are, Janine says. Yes, we are, Renee says. Yes, I am, Jazz says. Yes, I am, says Cassie. Yes, I am, says Maan. And yes, says Maddie. <laughs> Yes, we are, says Cheryl. And yes, I am, says Chai. All right. So, let's begin. You know what I did? I found white bond paper or white paper. Can you find white paper, please? Actually, any color as long as you've got it. You know why? Maybe I will show you where I took my uh, inspiration from. Hold on. Of course, I looked in Pinterest, right? See, this is what I wanted to do. Can you see? So one was actually pink, but I copied the white one. 
And these little ones have yarn for its head. I didn't have yarn, so that's okay. That's why I used colored paper. And you know what? Since it's the tail and the bangs, I'll call it bangs. It's, um, how do you say? It's okay. <laughs> you can use scratch paper or magazine sheets. Okay? Now, I'll put that away. Let's see. Okay, as I said, we need paper. I cut this from a long sheet of bond paper and I, I put it in half. Maybe I should show you how I did it. Because if you're doing it by yourself, it's important. Okay, first things first, I will move things aside so my table is clear and there's lots of space to work with. Okay, I'll move this aside also, okay? Alrighty. So, to, you know what? It's a little messy. I'm going to move also. Oh my, it's glittery! Alright, so what I did to get this was to get a long sheet. You can use a short bond paper. So a long sheet and I folded it into two. Can you fold your sheet into two? Okay. Find a way or ask mommy to help. And then I scored it. Meaning you folded it and then there was a mark. There you go. I used my pointer. Ta-da! Is your paper in half already? <gasps> Maddie's using pink. I'm using pink, says Amber. I is using purple. I don't have glitter, glitter paper. It's okay, Chai. No need for the glitter paper. What you can do is you can put um, rainbow dots on the, on the uni corn if later on. Okay? Or if you have glitter. You can put it with glue on the paper. Alrighty. So here we go. It's half. Some people... Oh, who says violet? Erica. Jordan is using white. That's fine. So there are two ways you can do this. You can pair it. Oh, wait. I will use another scratch paper. So pairing is when you pull one hand towards you and you push one hand away. This way, that's tearing. So I could tear this into two, or I will use the mommy scissors, and you guys will use the kid scissors, okay? Alrighty, here we go. We will cut where I scored the paper, where there's a line. You know what? I have a secret. It doesn't need to be straight because we won't see the you won't see the edge of the paper okay so I'm cutting slowly because I know you guys are cutting too and when you're done with that let me know we are going to go to the next part of our our unicorn craft roll art cra uh, project today let me know Uh, Megan says, can I use a pen knife? I guess you may. Oh, yes, you can use glitter paint. That's correct. Let's see. The pen knife. Let's see. Uh, Megan Pua. Fua. I hope you're the mommy. You may, but please um, let your child know that it's only you who can use that type knife, okay? Because, you know, they learn by example. So important. I'm done. Janine says, Tris is done. Stella done. Uh, Nayan is done. Brian is done cutting. Done. Okay. So lots of you said done. Pick a paper roll. Choose which roll you like. Take it, take it. And then get your gluey. Okay. Open the gluey, of course. Alrighty. Now, I want you... On the edge of the sheet, the, the short edge, this one, okay? I want you to do this to your fingers. And once you've done that, I want you to go to the paper. And then leave a space because you're going to go and put gluey, gluey, 
putting on the gluey on the paper. Can you see? Maybe I'll put it close. There's the glue. Yes, she won't use the pen knife. Good. Okay? Now, I'm going to get the paper roll and I will just put it on the paper where the glue is. Can you count to 10? We have to count and you, while you're pushing down the paper roll to the paper so that the glue will work its magic. Okay? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bing! Says the microwave. Okay? So it should be sticking. See that? Because I counted to ten, the glue worked its magic. Okay? Now, when that's done, let's see if you can put all of your fingers on the paper roll. And I want you to slowly rolling. Roll the paper. Roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling the glue. Uh, the paper. Rolling, rolling, rolling the paper. Until there's that much space left. Just like what you did earlier. That space. What are you going to do? Put more glue. Let's do it. So you're going to go and put one line of glue at the end, not too close to the edge. You know why? Because when you when you close this, when you do this, the glue will travel and then it's going to move to the edge of the paper. You don't want lots of glue in your fingers. Oh, do you see there? I see the glue coming out. And the glue here also is coming out. Okay, I'm just going to smooth the paper so that the paper stays closed and stuck. See? Alright. So now, when you're done, say done. Oh, it says wait. I'll wait. Do you hear my music? Is it too noisy? Should I turn it off? Or should I make it louder or softer? Okay, done. I see. I see done. Okay, I'm just pushing the paper to the edge so that it stays closed. And the glue is super stuck. Okie dokie. Okay, I see done, but I see wait. So we have to wait a bit. And while we're waiting, I'll put this down. Okay. Thank you again to Manila for Kids and... This was stuck to the paper. That's why it has, it has, um, what's this? It has washi tape. Oh dear. And I would just like to invite you to visit thelittleapprentice.com and join us for our summer classes. And the second one, it says Workshops by Roxy. That's my other name. So Workshops by Roxy is for the mommies and the kids actually. I've got lots of workshops for you that can be done also online. So both The Little Apprentice and Workshops by Roxy have been doing online um, stuff for a while now. So please find something you um, are interested in and ask us about it. Okay, done it says. All the messages say. Now, super easy. I would like you to start where there's that um, line. I want you to fold the paper into the edge of the toilet paper roll. You can use many fingers for this. See? That was easy, diba? Wasn't that easy? So now you see it this way. Okay, and I'm going to go to the other side. 
Yes, Maddie. It's only for preschool. Um, we are talking about the little apprentice. True, but we have stuff for mommies also. Okay, and I do Zumba Kids, and that can be done online. Zumba Kids would be for children from four to twelve years old because Zumba Fitness are for thirteen years old and above for the adults. Okay, let's see. Yes. I forgot to fold it. Oh, yeah, I'll wait for your review, Ritu. Okay, so I folded one one side and I can do the other side now because it's the same. So fold here, fold it in, and just go slowly around until all those, um, what's this? All those leftover pieces are folded in. So it looks like this. Let's see. Are we close? Or somewhere there yeah oh I see more people are showing up hello I like the singing thank you what would you like me to sing if I can sing it I'll sing it while working okay let's see let's see done done okay now can you please find all your scratch paper or colorful paper let's do it where did I put mine there it is. There they are. Okay, they're different sizes. If you want to cut them one at a time, because you're using the kid scissors, then cut them one at a time. If mommy is helping, she can cut at the same time lots of sheets. Okay? Because I'm assuming the kids are cutting, I will cut also one at a time. But I will talk at the same time. Hmm, I will stop the music because I'm suddenly inspired to sing. What can we sing? Ha, uh, okay. Athena and Shine are done. What do we sing? Let's sing something together. Um, since it's morning and it's at least sunny outside my window, can we sing... Um, can we sing the Mr. Sun song first? Okay, while we're cutting. And I want you to cut really tiny, tiny... Tiny lines, like small, thin, narrow sheets of colored paper. So you can use magazines, magazine sheets with mommy's permission, of course. So let's sing, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. What else can we sing? Oh, I see ABC. Let's sing ABC. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Remember what I mentioned? You can put your hand here by the edge of the table, and this hand is the one that turns, okay? Um, did I finish the alphabet song? Q, R, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I can't clap. <laughs> I'm working. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Haha. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face. Smile. We'll surely show it if you're happy and you know it. Stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray and jump from your seat. Hooray! <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know... Oh, wait! It says help. How can I help you? If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, jump off your seat. Oh! Mia is singing. Good job. Hmm. Why help? Somebody's asking for help, but I don't know why. How can I help if you don't tell me? 
I'm sure your teachers have said this before. Use your words. So, mommy, mommy of I, can you please type in um, what she needs so that I can help? Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark. Do, do, do. Oh wait a minute! Did you say help? Help us in the song. <laughs> Baka, I was misunderstanding. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark. Mommy shark, do, 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 do. mommy shark, do, 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 do. mommy shark, do, 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 do. mommy shark. Grandpa Shark, do, 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 do. Grandpa Shark. Oh wait, I'll stop singing because I'm reading that somebody um got disconnected. So all you've been uh, missing was that we've been cutting small uh, slivers or narrow pieces of colored paper because we're going to use them for the tail and for the bangs of the unicorn. Okay. So all you need to do is get your scissors, place them against the table like this, and this hand will cut. Now, my thing is I'm going to cut closer to the screen, closer to the camera so you can see me, okay? I'll move back a little. Okay, I'll move back a little. Okay, there we go. So I'm cutting... Cutting, cutting, cutting paper, cutting, cutting, cutting paper, cutting, cutting, cutting paper. Stop and take a bow. Bow. Okay, who's done cutting? I have lots. And if you're done, uh, how many strips do we use? Oh, as many as you can. Uh, are able to cut because when the time comes some of these will become part of the tail and some of these will become part of the hair okay so if you see my sample you will need this much for the tail and this much for the hair can you do it can you do it okay so I've got all these ah, it fell but that's okay you can pick it up Okie dokes. So I'm putting it, uh, I'm lining them all up because I need to see which ones are short and which ones are long. Okay. When you do it this way, mommies and daddies, these are short and these are long. When things are standing up, like buildings or people, these are tall. And these are short all right these are tall and these are small so that there's a difference between things that are lying down and things that are standing up okay long and short this way tall and short this way okay done I, done 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 nine cut okay now you know what um you see the yellow ones i'm just going to give it a little haircut and shorten it Toot. okay so now, we'll move this aside. Okay, we'll put it here. Now, find a... Let's relax our hand first. Because all that cutting, wow, was such a... Was such a, an exercise for our fingers. Okay. Oh, wait. I, there's weight from somebody. Wait, though. Okay. I will stop. Let's sing another song. What other song can we sing? Hmm. May I use ribbon? So, yes, please wait. Uh, please wait. I was reading and answering at the same time. Yes, you may use the ribbons. Okay. Let's see. Use the ribbons if you've got. I have got the old songs. Do you know that I'm a little teapot? I'm okay. Somebody says I'm not perfect. It's okay. These are not perfect also. You're fine. Guess what? Nobody's perfect. That's why we're in good company right now. Oh, somebody says I should sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and Spider. 
and I'm a little teapot. Okay, let's start with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because I know you guys know it. And for those who are still cutting, cut away. And oh, maybe I can do it with hands. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Let's set and go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Hello, Venice. Um, or Venice or Venice, hello. Oh my gosh, A Million Dreams. I'm going to have a concert if I'm going to sing A Million Dreams from Kisha. <laughs> Yellow Submarine. Are you talking about the Beatles song? We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. That one? And let it go. Oh my gosh, that's a concert. I think you guys have to watch me another day if I'm going to sing concert style. Okay. Hi, Matty. Hello. Okay. I think, I think, I think a lot of you are done. So I'm going to get my pen. You can use all, all sorts of pens. You can use this. You can use this. Your call. Okay. But today, I'm going to use this or this. Which one? They're the same. Hmm, I'll use this. Okay. So, I want you to look at the lashes of our unicorn. Do you think you can do that? I'll show you a sample. I would like you... Hold on. To draw this. Can you do that? Looks like a letter S. Any color, yes, any color will do. This is for the uh, eyelashes. All right. Yes, you can use pink. And after you do this letter S, I would like you to add one more lash here. You just copy this one. So now you have two lashes. And you'll do the other side. Okay, I'll show you. So we are going to do the eyelashes. So I'm going to find a spot. You know what spot I'm going to use? I'm going to use the opposite side of the back where that line is, where the papers meet. So I'm going to do it on this side. I'm going to do, I'll move close. I'm going to do one, uh, oopsie, the pen is not working. One lash, let me change pens. It was working a moment ago. So again, we'll do one lash here. And that, oh, you didn't see. There. So, I'll thicken it. One lash there and one lash there. Okay, hi, Brazen. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to do the other eye. Wait, I have to twist so that you can see. Wait a minute. Here it goes. And that extra lash. So now I've got two, two sets of lashes. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, I know. Have you heard about the opposite song? I, I usually use the opposite song a lot. If the opposite of happy is sad, and the opposite of sad is happy, can you tell me the opposites when I say the name? Can you play the opposites game? Happy! What's the opposite of happy? <laughs> sad. <laughs> What's the opposite of sad? Happy! Can you tell me the opposites when I say the name? Yes, Alice used the gray. <laughs> Alice is asking if she can use gray. Virginia is asking if she can use a silver pen. My friends, use any color you like because guess what? It's going to make you happy and you're going to hold on to your own unicorn craft after today, not me. Okay, and I I want you to look at it and I hope it makes you smile. Kidoki, 
Ah, somebody knows. Happy. If the opposite of open is closed, and the opposite of closed is open. I'm talking about my eyes. Can you tell me the opposites when I say the name? Can you play the opposites game? Open. And the opposite of open is closed. Closed. And the opposite of closed is open. Can you tell me the opposites when I say the name? Can you play the opposites game? Hi, Kisha. Alice is using her mom's account. Okay, thank you for the, for the, uh, what's this? Compliment. How about one more? For those who just got connected, we are waiting for the others to do the eyelashes. So you just draw the eyelashes and then when that's done, we will continue. Oh, I see. You're writing down the opposites now. How about if the opposite of fast is slow, then the opposite of slow is fast. Can you tell me the opposite when I say the name? Can you play the opposites game? Fast! And the opposite of fast is what? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Slow. And the opposite of slow is fast. Can you tell me the opposite when I say the name? Can you play the opposites game? <sighs> Hi. Okay. So, are we done? Wait a minute. My camera says it's low bat. So, I have to plug. Give me a moment. This way we continue with the happiness. Oh, I see you're writing down the answer. Good job. Let me just plug. And we're back in business. Okay, so my my uh, battery will not die on us. Okay? All right. Ooh, they are enjoying. Good job. Yay, yay, yay. The opposite of fast is slow. Next, let's do the ears. And let's do the unicorn. Okay. For this one, I want you to get scratch paper. In fact, I'm going to cut out a small piece so I don't keep holding such a large piece with me. Okay? Hold on. So this paper is so big already. Now, when you have it, let me know. Find me small sheet, just like this. Small enough. Because what we're going to do... Hi, Sophia! Hi! Oh, somebody's having so much fun. Woohoo! Happy, happy, happy. Okay, so we are going to fold it. We are just going to fold a small piece. Because remember, the ears are tiny. They're tiny. We, we have to make two of them. And then smaller, tinier, um, pink. I did. I don't know what to call them. Inner ears. Okay. Oh, I'm beautiful. Thank you, Ritu. Nice of you to say. Thank you for the compliment. What do you say when I say thank you? You say... What? You're... I'm waiting. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so... Anyways, we are going to do the ears. So I'm going to show you a trick. So that you can do two ears looking the same, I'm going to ask you to fold the sheet of paper this way. Mommy can fold this for you, okay? okay and then score it or fold it again like that. Okay, all I need is this. Now, maybe to help you, I'm going to draw lines um, somebody's asking, I don't have tissue rolls. What can I use? Hmm. You can use a bottle. But it'll be bigger. But that's okay, right? All right now, all we need actually is the, the round shape. Or for those people who have, let's say, shampoo bottles or water bottles, you can actually do the same, but you will have to cover it big. Huh. I don't have a bottle right now. <laughs> the only one I have is just a spray bottle. But what we did with this one, with this paper roll, you can wrap something bigger like this. Wait, excuse the handle. And you can work with something bigger. Right? So it's just a bigger unicorn. Okay. But um, anyways, the idea of the toilet paper roll today is that We've got so many. And instead of throwing them away, we can recycle. Can you all say, recycle? Say it. Recycle. Recycle means you use it again. 
Okay, but sometimes when you're using it again, it can be used in another way. And that way is naman called upcycle. And these come from your toilet or your bathroom or your comfort room. They come uh, with toilet paper rolled around it. When the toilet paper is all done and used up, you end up with toilet paper rolls. Recycle. Good job. They're saying it. Recycle. Yes, we will have an artwork for the boys later. Uh, maybe I'll show you now. So it will, what's the word for it? It will uh, make you want to wait for it. Because I know that the ladies or the girls. Okay, let me show you the other pictures I was able to save. Okay. Joining now, Amara and Jada. Hello. Erica is half German. Okay, so here we go. So, we've got this possible... Oh. <laughs> Give me a moment. Try again. Oh, here. This is a drawn, drawn up uh, set of unicorns. Here you can do bunny rabbits and chicks. Look, who knows who this is? It's Olaf. And then you can do butterflies. I was thinking of doing butterflies, but my golly. Everybody's probably going to do the butterflies, right? Aluminum paper roll. Ooh, exactly. Venice or is using that. Oi, here you have to use two. So for the one who has the the kitchen roll, you can cut it into two pieces and then you can draw lines and make it into a zebra. Oops. Here, this is what I wanted to do for the boys. Do you think we can make rockets? This is the boy craft later for those who noticed i was um or would you rather we did roll bots but i don't have bottle caps we can just use other sheets of paper okay what else or if you want we can do eh, wait no i was looking at something else there it is we can do a car look at that or we can do a bumblebee or <laughs> who knows who these are okay so anyway let's continue so now let's do the ears we are going to cut two triangles I don't know if you can see that because I folded the paper Ta da There are two pieces. See that? Okay. So now, now that you have two white ones, we need the inner portion. Okay, here I'm using pink. So let me find color pink and use pink. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to fold. And I'm going to make smaller triangles. Okay, so here we go. Cut and cut. Ta -da! Oh, hard to pick up. Hold on. One and two. Okay, now you can see my table. I'm just going to put a little glue on both white triangles. And then I'm going to put the pink ones on top. Here, let's, I'll show you the first one. And then you can do it on the other one by yourself. Like this. Wait, I'm looking for the camera. There you go. Can you do this? Okay. Don't use pink if you don't have pink. It's okay. What I did was I just cut two triangles that are one color, like this one, white. I put glue. I don't know if you can see the glue. There's the gluey. And then I placed the pink one on top of it. I tried to center it. Okay? So I've got two... I've got two. Okay. So 
So just cut two whites and two um, pink triangles, put glue, and then put the pink on top of the white. When you're done with that, I want you to put a little dot on top of the pink. Wait, let me put first and then move it close. Like this. Hmm, trying to make the light. There we go. See that? There's white. There's a white dot. Okay. That's for the inside. So we're going to put one ear inside the... This way. Oi! It fell. Hold on. And you have to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one ear. And then let's put glue on the other one. Okay. And then we are going to attach it on the other side. And we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my, that was high. So I've got the two ears. See? Okay, two ears. Then, um, for you, if you have glitter paint, or if you have glitter and glue, or if you've got glitter paper, I'm going to use the blue one. I'm just going to cut a very long triangle. I'll cut this way. Ooh, whoppa. Oh, glitter falling everywhere. There it is. See that? And this one, I'm going to place glue on. Oopsie, I placed on my finger. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to let this dry a bit because first things first, we have to go back to our hair. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. This will be for the hair and for the tail. Okay, that's why we cut a lot. So, we are going to cut a shorter piece and leave the longer piece. Okay, you can't see me. Sorry. I'm going to cut a shorter... Uh, I'm not going to cut in the middle. I'm going to leave a longer side, this side, for the tail and the shorter side for the bangs. Okay? Can you see? Okay, now, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut. Again, short side for the bangs, long side for the tail. So I'm cutting now, I'm cutting them all together. Mommy can help you with that part. Ooh, they all jumped everywhere. Okay. Let's start with the short, short pieces. We are going to collect them all since they all flew away. Okay, so those little fingers are going to get the work out because they need to grab all these pieces. Yes, you can use glitter paint, no problem. Oh, I'm fast. Okay, sorry. I will go slow. See, some of you say I'm fast, and then there are some who are saying, please continue. So I have to wait for the ones who that are asking or requesting that I slow down. So I'm cutting, or I've cut the short pieces, and this is what's going to be for the bangs or the hair of our, whoopsie, unicorn paper roll. Okay, so I've collected them all. Wait. And I have to line them up. This is the short pieces of paper we cut earlier. Okay. There we go. So they're lined up. And what I'll do now is put a lot of glue at the end. Like this. Gluey, gluey, putting on the gluey, 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 putting on the gluey, 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 putting on the gluey. Stop and take a bow. Okay. 
So I've put glue. The tail can be all the colors that we cut. Okay, since there's glue here, I'm oh wait, and I'm taking something out. Since there's glue here, I'm going to put it here. You can lay it on the table and you can let the glue dry. Oy, it was rolling. You have to hold the toilet paper roll. And if you want to count, you can count. Let's count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did we count? Okay. Yes, you may use yarn. Please use yarn. Okay. Oops, some fell out. So I'm going to put them back in and make sure they're touching the glue. Okay. So I've placed glue at the end of the paper and then I lay it I laid it down inside the toilet paper roll. Can you see? Okay. So now while that's there, I'm going to place the unicorn on top. Like this. It's inside, like that, and I'll press it down, okay, and I'll count to ten. One little, two little, three little unicorns, four little, five little, six little unicorns, seven little, eight little, nine little unicorns, ten little unicorns. No, there's only one <laughs> in my hand, okay, so because I counted to ten, the unicorn is stuck. I'm going to now fold the bangs down like this so you can see the unicorn. Ta da! Oi, the unicorn moved. Wait a minute. Ta da! Oi! Let's hold the uni unicorn still and count again. That's all we need to do. One little, two little, three little unicorns, four little, five little, six little unicorns, seven little, eight little, nine little unicorns, ten unicorns. Yeah, Erica says there's glue on my fingers, so do mine. My fingers have glue too, but that's fine. We will wash our hands properly later. And who knows, what song do we sing when we wash our hands? It has to be long enough so that all the germies go away with the soap and the water. Do you know what song? In fact, people sing Let It Go, and some people sing The Yellow Submarine, but I sing Happy Birthday to You. Oh, somebody says she doesn't want bangs. That's fine. Yes, Ritu says Happy Birthday. That's correct. Hello, Amara and Seb. So, I held the unicorn, uh, the unicorn, <laughs> okay, and then now there are bangs. Later, you can cut the bangs. No, let's cut them now. Let's cut the bangs so we can see the face naman of our unicorn. Wait, the others got stuck. Oh dear. Wait a minute. There we go. So again, we only cut paper hair. We don't cut our own hair with scissors. The barber does that. See, now you can see the eyelashes. And the remaining hair or paper that we have, the longer ones, this will be the tail. So collect them all. Collect your tail like this. Okay. Collect your tail. Make sure they're um, the same length at the bottom because that's what you're going to put glue gluey on so i will spread them apart so it's easier to uh, reach each piece okay so again thank you to manila for kids i'm from the little apprentice preschool and that's for the kids we have summer online classes and now i'm putting gluey Gluey, gluey, putting on the gluey, 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 
putting on the gluey summer online classes for kids and workshops by Roxy will be the summer online classes for the adults and the tweens and the teens gluey gluey putting on the gluey stop and take a bow yes we will do the rockets in a while okay hi zane and ethan good morning okay so if you have placed gluey on the edge or the tip of the tail you can go to the back the opposite of the front <laughs> and stick your tail. It can be this side or it can be this side. Does not matter, but it has to be lying down like this. Because if you put it this way and you put this on the table, it's going to fold. So you have to put it on the side. And when you put it on the side, we are going to count again. And yes, we're going to have glue on our finger, okay? And that's fine. Let's press it down and let's count. One little, two little, three little tails, four little, five little, six little tails, seven little, eight little, nine little tails, ten tails on my finger with glue. <laughs> hmm. I will wipe it on the another sheet of paper. Ta -da. Then I'll rub my fingers for now. Later, yes, rocket ship. So rocket ship, huh? not robot, Lucas. Rocket chip. Oh, so you get a rocket chip it is. Now, da -da I'm done with my... Yes, happy Mother's Day to you too, Clarissa. Thanks for the greeting. So, see? We've got our... Mwah! Wait a minute. What happened? Oi! It fell inside. I got surprised there. So, this one needs a little repair. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't stand it when... My unicorn is not pretty. Let's just hold it there for our, a bit. ta -da! We've got our unicorns. What's missing? Can you tell? What's, what's here that's not here? Uh, who can tell? My name is Teacher Rasan. I'm from the Little Apprentice Preschool, Mommy, Virginia. Sophie, the unicorn is my favorite. Oh, thank you, Sophie. It's my favorite too. That's why I chose it first. Let's do the cheeks. Find pink if you've got a pink marker. And I want you to make two circles for the cheeks. One here and one here. So just make circles. And then this unicorn is done. And we, ay! <laughs> it needs a lot of pushing into and my unicorn is done. For this one, I used um, pink circles that are paper. The blush, yes. Somebody says robot, somebody says rocket ship. So for the boys who are staying on, I'm assuming the girls are going to leave, but that's okay. If the boys are staying on, I've got a few who want robots and a few who want, you want to make a mouth? Okay, those who want to make mouth, yes, the cheeks are missing. Thank you for noticing, Z and Lucas. So what I did was I put here pink circles, or what I think are circles, and here there are um, pink paper circles. Marker, paper. Oh, you can use buttons, says Jordan Luis. Yes, if you've got buttons in your house, please use them. If you have yarn for the hair, instead of paper use them my friends it's okay you know what what nice what it bleh, what is nice about art it's a way to express yourself and it's a way to be very creative so i like the way you're being creative by um suggesting new ways to prettify or beautify our unicorns okay so if you're going to take a picture you can take a picture now okay so, can I put cutie marks? Yes, put cutie marks. For those who want to add mouths, you may do so on your own, but mine, I will keep mine without the mouth, okay? Okay, so I will put these aside, and we are now going to do the rocket ships. Ay, somebody wants robot, somebody wants... Yes, please put the mouth. You're very welcome to do so. 
Okay, so I'm going to clear my table just a little bit. Okay, now we are going to do a rocket ship. Who is ready? Who is ready? Rocket ships, rocket ships, say me. And if you want a robot, we can only choose one because there's no more time. Say me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, because I see nothing coming out, let's just do the rocket ship, okay? So you're going to get another one since I've got, wait a minute, let's use color blue. We are going to do the same. So you're going to need paper that's about this big, which can fit the toilet paper roll. Okay, rocket ship it says. So let's do a rocket ship. Okay, so we are going to do this. Oh my, so far I've seen three robots. Me, it says Ethan. So you need paper? Oh no, rocket ship. I can't decide. <laughs> uh, it's, we're, we're in the middle. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, fine. Let's do robot. Robot it did. Okay, because rocket ship means you're going to put uh, something in the tip. It might be difficult for the kids. So, uh, executive decision, teacher Rosan is going to say robot instead. So, paper and toilet paper roll, please. Oh, how did I do the hair? This is what we're going to do. Manila for kids. Who's asking? That's uh, Cas Castalia, Sadie. How did I do the hair? I would like you, after this uh, live feed is done, I would like you to watch the recorded version, okay? Because sorry, uh, we, we don't have time to repeat the hair for the unicorn. So again, we need paper this big and a toilet paper roll this big, okay? And we're going to put fingers this way and you're going to give me one long line of gluey here. Gluey, gluey, putting on the gluey. Stop and take a bow. Okay? Then, I'll move it so you can see. Wrong. That away. We are going to do this. Thank you, Uno. And you're welcome, Uno. You're going to put the paper roll on top of the glue near the edge and count to 10. Let's do it. One, two, three. Three, yes, you may leave. Ritu, you may leave because you're done with the unicorn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And after counting to ten, I'm sure the glue and the paper have stuck together. Now we are going to roll. So roll, 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 roll. Roll the paper and the carton together and leave this much space at the end. And we are going to, hi, oh, bye, see you soon, okay, Little Apprentice, and Workshops by Roxy, thank you for joining for those who are leaving because they're done with their unicorns. Okay, we'll, we'll put some gluey here. Gluey, gluey, putting on the gluey, stop, and take a bow, bow, who's saying goodbye? Oh, you're, you're welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining, Kaylee. Okay, so when that's done, I want you to fold it in and push the paper in and push the glue. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, what we did earlier was we... Wait, you have to tell me if you're done. Bye, Alicia and Andrea. Thanks for joining. Okay. If you're done, we are going to fold in the... Oh, somebody's asking when we're going to do this again. You'll have to let me... Please make your suggestions. And, by the way, please um, post your work in Manila for Kids, Workshops by Roxy, or the Little Apprentice Preschool's... Um, Facebook sites and tag us, okay? We would love to see your work. So, 
Bye. Bye, Stella. Bye, Alice. Bye, Cassie. Thank you for joining. Bye, teacher. Who's that? Bye, Jazz. Bye, Cheryl. Okay, now we're going to fold it in this way because I see somebody saying done. Okay, fold in so that you've got the edge of the paper roll covered by your blue paper. Okay, you're welcome, Jella. And then you're going to do the other side. See, we're going to fold that in. So let's fold. Okay, post in Manila for kids. Yes. Post also in the Little Apprentice Preschool and you post in Workshops by Roxy. We would love to see all of your work. Okay. So, oh, thank you, Maddie. She says, even though I'm still, I'm a girl, I'm still here. Yes. <laughs> because it, you know, learning is fun, right? Right. Okay. Who's that? Bye, Angela. Bye, Kaylee. Kylie. Bye, Beng. All right. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May we have other toilet paper rolls? There are many things you can do. Just check um, Pinterest for one. You'll find more. Okay. Let's do <laughs> pink rocket. I love it. Somebody's saying she's doing the pink rocket. So, for this one, it's the pink robot. Now, would you like to cut small pieces of shapes, or would you like to draw them? I'm going to make. I'm going to use yellow. I would like you to make squares. Can you make me um, about three squares or four squares? What I'll do is I'll make a big square like this. This is already big. I'll show you why. Because we have to work with something small. So make me a square that looks like this. Thank you for joining. Those who are saying bye, thank you for joining. Okay. So make a square this small. And then we're going to further make this into four squares. We're going to cut here in the middle. Wait, I'll move this aside so you can see it against the black. We're going to cut this in the middle like this. Pow! So now you have two rectangles. And I'm going to put the rectangles together. Mommy can do this. So they look like one sheet or one piece. Yeah. And then now you're going to cut it in the center. Pow! And now you've got four pieces. See? Now that you've got four. Oh, I'm going too fast. Okay, I'll slow down. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, that was a big burp. So when you burp, what do you say? <laughs> you say, excuse me. And so I'm saying, excuse me. Yes, we're doing a robot. So I need you to make four squares like this. And if you don't want to make four squares, you can draw the four squares. Okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Now, I would like you to maybe get another color. For me, I'm going to get green. For the green one, I'm going to cut a long rectangle like this so just make the four squares four yellow squares okay I'm going to make the green rectangle like this okay and I'm going to fold it into two like this yes post your works please thank you mommy Margot and then you're going to fold it again into two so it's getting shorter that way and then if you can fold it one more time very tiny until it looks like this super small like that please do okay remember we did four squares and then now we're doing this. So, bye, Mia. Thank you for joining. Okay, do something this small. Okay. Now, I think mommy has to do this part because we folded this long sheet. I don't know if you can see. Ta-da! Into half. And then again into half. 
and then again into half until it's this tiny and it's very thick now because it's thick it's going to be hard to cut at all at once but mommy can do this can you please give the scissors to mommy so she can cut she's going to make as a, a circle whatever circle that fits in this sheet please do it okay let's do it so cutting 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 the circle cutting 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 the circle cutting 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 the circle stop and take a bow so i cut the circles you want to see how many circles i made or ha mommy has made i'm going to fan it out like this and then i'm going to lay it here and let's count one two three four five six wait a minute seven and eight i made eight circles okay and i think mommy should be cutting them also and making this yeah bye winnie okay so i'm going to put the circles down here also that's a lot now <laughs> it bounced sorry so for our robot let's do buttons for its chest we're going to toot, 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 toot. okay i'm going to do it here i'm going to put one two can you see three and four i made a square out of my um glue dots okay so with the glue dots i'm going to attach the squares one two three and four can you do that yes post your works uh ages and mommy uh, manila for kids workshops by roxy and the little apprentice all on facebook thank you okay if you don't have any white paper choose any color if you have a magazine sheet, use a magazine sheet. Okay, so these are the dots for the robot. And then I'm going to put eyes. One and two. And for the eyes, I used color green. And so we are going to attach the green dots. One. and two i'm pressing so that the green dots stay pressing 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 the green dots pressing 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 the green dots pressing 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 the green dots stop and take a bow let me press the um yellow squares Pressing, pressing, pressing the yellow squares. Pressing, pressing, pressing the... Oi! It moved. The yellow square. Pressing, pressing, pressing the yellow square. Stop and take a bow. Have you done it? Okay, now. These are going to be the eyes. Later, we'll put the mouth here. Now, I'm going to put the green um, ears. Same dots. On the sides so if you are looking this way I'm going to do it right here just like where your ears are your eyes are in front and your ears are on the side so I'm going to find the side I'll put gluey and then I'll put also on the other side I'll put gluey okay so I'm going to press the green Oui, it's moving the green circle on the side and I'm going to press the other green circle on the side so now I'm pressing and I'm pushing. Pressing, pressing, pressing the green circle. Pressing, pressing, pressing the green circle. Pressing, pressing, 
pressing the green circle stop and take a bow. Okay, we're almost done with this one. Can you please get your black um, black marker? We are now going to decorate our robot. Our robot is almost done. Oh. Now, for the eyes, yes, you can use any color you like. Remember, it's what you have, and that's what you work with. You don't need to use what I have, okay? So for the eyes, you can use your imagination. So you have to use your, your um, think of your favorite stuff. So for me, I'm going to put dots in the middle. I am using a black marker for my robot. I start with a small circle and make it bigger so that I can control the size and the shape. Okay, and I'll do the other side. So can you see? One eye. Yeah, and I'll do the other side and the other eye. Circle, circle, drawing the circle, 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 drawing the circle. There. <gasps> I, I have an idea. I'm going to make the eyes bigger. I'm going to draw a big circle around the green circle. Just because. Okay. I'll show you when I'm done. So I'm just drawing brick. An outline so to speak especially for the ones who are older you may want to do something like this there see try that okay the ears I won't do anything it will stay put oh I know what I'll put antenna okay hold on I'm going to draw a line and a black circle how's that that's the antenna on the side Can you see that? Let me know. I'll do the other side on the other ear, okay? Wait a minute. So I'm drawing a line and oops, it got glue. So and antenna on the other side. So one side and the other side. See that? All right. So let me know if you're almost done with your robot because all we need for this robot is its smiley smile. And the smiley smile is up to you. You can choose how it will smile or if it's angry or if it has teeth or if it's frowning or if it's, you know, very happy. Let me know, okay? Wait, let's move this up. Let's move this. There we go, okay? And last, but not least, because we have to go, is we're going to put a big long smile on our robot. For me, I'm going to make it straight line. All the way across. And I'll put circles at the end. How's that? There's the smile on my robot. Can you do that too? So I would like to thank again, Manila for Kids. I would like to thank uh, the Little Apprentice Preschool and of course, Workshops by Roxy. So please, please, if you have suggestions, if you want me to come back, all you have to do is ask Manila for Kids and suggest things that we can do together. Okay, or you can go to thelittleapprentice.com or workshops by roxy.com okay so here's one and here's the other one that we did today i hope you like them okay so robot and um unicorn remember there are so many things you can do your mind if you think that there's no limit you can think of anything and do anything okay so thank you for joining me this morning my name is teacher rosana raneta i hope to see you soon thank you manila for kids remember tag me Ros roxy araneta or rosan araneta tag manila for kids and tag the little apprentice preschool 
Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining. Bye, bye. Yes. Oh, last, you can put hands. Somebody's asking. Please do. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you, Manila for Kids. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a nice day.